right guys, so in this video, we're going to be installing the Torp TC1000 and TM25 onto our beloved Suron. Uh, I'm really excited for this. Comes with this great little cover panel. I love the form factor here. We'll see how it fits uh, in the factory location and with the factory plugs, love it. Comes with a little controller as well. And of course this beautiful motor. So um, let's get started. First things first, we're gonna take the stock motor out and the BAC 8000, which we have on this still. No problems with this setup. I just wanna try the new new. So let's go ahead, get that stuff out of here so that we can make way for the new stuff. We've got the frame pretty much stripped. The factory harness is still in place. Uh, the BAC is out. The battery is out. Now we've got the cover off of the bottom here. So we're going to go ahead and take the pulley bolt loose and then take our mounting bolts loose. So first, let's see if we can get that pulley bolt off with an impact because it's going to spin if you try to do it with just a regular wrench. Let's see what we've got. It's a 17 just like that. These have Loctite on them, so they're not going to come out very easily. Here we've got both motors side by side. You can see the torque motor here and the Suron motor here. They're honestly, size-wise, dimensionally, pretty similar. Uh, this one's a little wider. I, like we've discussed, we've got a bigger rotor in here. But um, otherwise, fairly similar dimensions. That's a good sign. Phase wires are on opposite sides, I will say that. So, not a big deal. Let's see what the weight looks like between the two of them. The stock motor right here. Fifteen and a half pounds. Man, the rain is coming down. Now, let's go with the torque motor. Twenty-one point seven. So we're we're heavier. This is another six pounds of weight uh, that we're adding to the bike on top of the other weight on the battery so overall we are going to pick up a little bit of weight but this is all for the better 100 percent so uh let's go ahead and uh get this motor installed You can see the torque motor is in place bolted in the stock location we've got the belt nice and tight using the tensioner right there phase wires monster i love it big stuff fits great that's the initial impression we'll go ahead and button this all up now and uh, get the controller mounted and everything we're cruising and here it is 
We've got the controller nicely mounted. As you can see, these phase wires reach perfectly. Big, nice phase wires. Factory power wires are hooked up here and uh, the wiring harness fits really nicely up here. So it takes up a lot less space. This Torp controller has a far smaller footprint than the BAC 8000. Whether that's gonna translate to something good or bad, we'll find out, but so far so good. I like this size, this form factor. It's very nice and tight to the frame. We're gonna put the little cover on now to cover all of this up, slide the battery back in and power it on. That cover fits so nice. Look at that. Streamline with the skid plate. It looks really good. I love that the factory motor cover fits on there too. So it almost looks factory. Except you see this giant Torp logo and these big phase connectors. That's the only real dead giveaway. Battery's in, everything's good. We're gonna go ahead and just fire it up. Uh, there's a, a setup procedure. I already went through it just to get it done but you just download the Torp app and use the setup wizard it's really simple it calibrates the motor the throttle everything and uh, we set the battery for 72 volts this thing comes on look at that ready to go so let's go ahead and charge the battery now the rain is falling so we're not going to be able to ride today sadly but we've got the dyno so maybe we'll throw it on the dyno uh, in the next video but that was the install i wanted to show you guys the full installation of the torp system including the tc1000 and the tm25 motor the darwin ev battery fits amazing perfect to be honest to be honest with you everything streamlined everything goes just as it should we've got our little display and controller here fits nicely the handlebars stay nice and clean excellent install guys i want to i want to emphasize how easy and how everything fit perfect that's the main takeaway here so far this system fits absolutely perfect so that alone is a great um incentive to do this on your Suron. the battery fits absolutely perfect you can see the charging ports right here easily accessible the entire torp system fits absolutely perfect i love it i love it love it love it so far so guys uh that'll do it for this video we're gonna go ahead and oh yeah lights are working great we'll go ahead and charge the battery and then get ready for some power in the next video i hope you're excited because i am too see you in the next one <laughs>